Greetings, Basketeers, Josh Fosgreen here. Today I'm gonna to show you a rhythmic exercise that you can use to improve your groove. This will improve your ability to differentiate between different rhythms and switch back and forth quickly. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump right in and show you the exercise and then I'll tell you what's happening. Okay, so I'm gonna use a metronome and I'm gonna play different rhythmic subdivisions. Start with eighth notes for a bar, then go to triplets, then sixteenths, then back to triplets, then back to eighths, and then I'll stop there. Okay, so what's happening here is I'm playing a bar of eighth notes, which means I'm playing two notes per beat evenly spaced. Then I'm playing a bar of eighth note triplets, which means I'm playing three notes per beat evenly spaced apart. Then I'm going to a bar of 16th notes, which means I'm playing four notes per beat evenly spaced, and then going back to triplets, back to eighth notes. The reason this is important is you need to be able to feel different divisions of a pulse. You know, all the music we listen to has a driving pulse, which usually we would call a quarter note in most circumstances. So you wanna be able to divide that basic pulse that you're feeling into different quantized units evenly spaced apart, okay? So it's not just that you're playing two notes or three notes per beat, but that they're two or three notes evenly divided along the beat. So the eighth notes come at 50%, the triplets come at 33 and 66%, the 16th math, etc. You get the idea. Okay, so let's try this together without our basses. We're just gonna clap the rhythms, okay? So this click is what we're calling a quarter note. Okay, so if we clapped quarter notes, let's do this together. We'd just be clapping along with a click, basically. Okay, now I'm gonna count us in and we're gonna switch to eighth notes for one bar. Okay, here we go. One, two, eighth notes, here we go. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. Now we'll switch to triplets, and four, and one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, a three, and a sixteenth, and one E, and a two E, and a three E, and a four E, and a one E, and a two E, and a three E, and a back to triplets, one, and a two, three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a back to eights, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. Nice. Okay, so we did two bars of each there. I want to give you a little bit more time to sit on each one. So starting with clapping is not a bad idea when you're doing rhythm exercises because it takes all the technical bass stuff out of the equation. And you can do this exercise if you don't play bass, but mostly bass players watch my channel, I'm sure. Um, now let's try doing this together. We're gonna go back to just one bar of each and we'll actually play, just play an open D string. Okay, so just to demonstrate real quick, we'll get the click going, then I'll do a bar of eighth notes, one and two and three, and then switch to triplets, one and a two and a three, four, then sixteenths, and a two E and a three E and a four E and a triplets, and two and a three four and uh, back to eights and two and three and four and. Okay, so you can feel as we go tri uh, eighth notes, triplets, sixteenths, we're kind of gradually speeding up and then gradually slowing down as we come back. Okay, let's try this together. Ready? One, two, eighth notes, four, one and two and three and four, triplets, sixteenths, triplets, back to eights. Okay, so this is an exercise you're really gonna need to do on your own. I wanted to do some playing along together just for fun, but um, it's important for you to do this without my guidance so that you're the one generating the subdivision feel and not just following me as I subdivide the beat for you because this is all about you independently having a good rhythmic feel. So far we've been doing this at 60 beats per minute. Now let's try it a little faster at 80 beats per minute, okay? Here we go, same thing. Bar of eighths, triplets, sixteenths, triplets, eighths. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and 
triplets, one and a two and a three and a four and a sixteenth, two e and a three and a four e and a triplet, two and a three and a four and a one and two and three and four and one. Stop you there. So this exercise, unlike a lot of other things you practice where you try to gradually go faster and faster and work your BPM upwards, this exercise actually continues to be valuable at a variety of tempos. You could go as low as 40 beats per minute or slower. You could probably bring it up to maybe 100 beats per minute before it starts getting cumbersome to try to divide the beat that much. If you're only going to 16ths, I guess you could go a little faster than that. But anyway, a range of 40 BPM to 100 BPM-ish um, all those tempos are really great to practice this exercise at until you can really effortlessly divide the beat into these different quantized units um, without batting an eye. So that's the basic exercise. You could pause the video and go practice that for a few months now if you want to. What I want to do now is what I often do, which is give you a bunch of variations that you can try to make it more advanced or interesting or applicable to you. Uh, Okay, so first thing I'll show you is that you can change the number of repetitions you do for each subdivision. So uh, in general, I would say the quicker you change subdivision, the harder it's gonna be. So rather than doing a whole bar of each division, I could just do two beats of each division. So I'll just go one and two and three and a four and a one e and a two e and a three and a four and a, and then I'd be back to eighths. Or I could just do one beat of each, two, three, four, eights, triple at one e and a da 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 um okay so making yourself switch subdivisions faster and i really encourage you to try it that way at some point too if you're really uncomfortable with the initial version of the exercise you can wait on that but in music stuff like that happens often you'll be grooving along with like an eighth note pulse and then all of a sudden there's a triplet figure out of the blue and you want to just be able to bam 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 switch subdivisions. Another big way you can make this exercise more interesting is to go further with your subdividing. Instead of stopping at four notes per beat, go all the way to eight notes per beat. So we got eighths, triplets, sixteenths, pentuplets, sextuplets, septuplets, and finally 30 second notes. Let's try that together. We'll do a bar of each eights all the way up to 30 seconds and then back down. I'm not gonna say the moves out loud because I cannot do this exercise and talk at the same time, okay? Here we go, one, two, and three, and eighth notes. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and a. Okay, so that's basically it, a little bit sloppy on my end, um, but it's a lot more challenging, especially because we don't often divide one beat into five or seven. You might find yourself playing in five, eight, or seven, eight now and then, but actually dividing a pulse into five or seven components, it's not something you're often called on to do, so it feels a lot more challenging when you do practice it if that's not something that's normally in your practice routine. For me, it's a little bit of a weak point, uh, actually, I could probably use doing this exercise a little bit more too with that advanced variation of going all the way up to 30 second notes. Last thing you can do to make this a little bit more fun is try adding some notes to it, okay? So instead of just playing an open string, you could actually say, okay, well I'm playing two notes for the eighth note, so why don't I pick two notes to play there? I'll just go chromatically here. Um, so I'll just do two notes for the eighth notes, then three for the triplets, then four for the sixteenths, etc. We'll just do this going up to sixteenth notes. Um, I'll do a bar of each just to show you what I'm talking about. Two, three, four. So eighth notes, triplets, sixteenths, back to triplets, back to eighths. 
Okay, and you could pick more interesting notes than that. I was just picking a chromatic sequence starting on a D. Um, that makes it a little bit more musical context to you, so you can try that too. All right, that's the exercise in all its glory. I really encourage you to practice this if you have trouble differentiating between these rhythms because you just sort of force yourself to develop the muscle of being able to do these subdivisions if you do this exercise. So um, I think it'll really help you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support these free videos, you can check out my Patreon page where you can get Kickstarter style rewards for supporting my channel. You can also buy my books at joshfossgreen.com and learn your scales and arpeggios real good. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'll be back at you soon and rock on.